For some okay. Reason. I am Claude Psycho Babble Diamond today. So we're, we're trying <laughs> to do a little, I'm trying to give you not just go out and read scripts and give presentations and make a million phone calls and everything. I want you to think through how they behave, how we can control their behavior, what state they're in, and how do we control our behavior? This is the difference between guts and everything else um, and, and everyone else out there. We want to think our, we want to say to ourselves, gee, how do I get that person to give me their home or do a rent to own with that home? Or how do I get them to say yes and get them up that uh, commitment ladder that we always talk about. So we have to recognize the three states the child wants to buy, the adult makes the uh, in intellectual decision to buy, and the parent gives permission to those other parties that it's okay to buy. Uh, and, and, some, and we just want to do that. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk always talks about self-analysis, uh, um, uh, self self-assessment, I think is the word he uses. Self-awareness is what he calls it. Self-awareness. Thank you, Sean. What does he mean by that? What do you, what's your take on that? Um, being aware, uh, obviously, of what, what you're feeling, what you're thinking, as opposed to, and what you should be doing, as opposed to what maybe your emotions are leading you to do, and what you really need to do to move forward. Um, talks about most of us, and this goes for everybody, a lot of times we get caught up on small details that don't really move, move us forward. You know, it's kind of like the Pareto rule. I mean, there's all these different things to be done, but there's only certain things that are going to move you forward to, towards your goal. And uh, life is full of distractions and pulls people off in these other directions. I think we have to, um, I, I, self, a now, transactional analysis, self-awareness, self-analysis allows us to recognize our strengths. To be our own, I say it simply, to be our own cheerleader. Who here has had a bad day when you get somebody who hangs up on you rudely or is just totally horrible to you or says something? That bothers me. How do we get past that stuff and continue? I mean, if that just stops us dead, who here has been stopped dead by a, na by a bad day, a bad event, a nasty person? I have. I have. Guilty is, guilty. Uh, we're all on sodium pentothal and two martinis, okay? Uh, oh, oh, boy, would that be a cocktail. Um, my God. And how do we get past that? How do we talk ourselves through that, the, through the self-awareness um, that Sean was just, uh, self-analysis? We have to, you know, we have to say, I'm going to be the, uh, when we're, I often talk about getting cut off on the highway. Here in, here in, here in California, red is the new green at traffic lights, and nobody uses signal lights. There's the worst drivers in the world are in Southern California, okay? And if you start getting caught up emotionally in these bad drivers, guess what you do while you're driving? You start squeezing that steering wheel. You start using bad language in front of your small children that, that they repeat in front of grandma, and, it's, and then you have to explain yourself. And <laughs> things like it's happened to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you're when you're when you're one and a half year old says the F A word, I'm not going to repeat what it, you have to figure it out in front of grandma or great aunt, and then you have to explain to your wife why your daughter is using language like that because she's in the car with you all the time, driving in Southern. You have to get control again, and you have to say, you know what, I'm not going to react to these people. I'm going to be the adult in the room. I give my permission, self permission, not to get emotionally involved, not to get caught up in this stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to be the person who gets their way through this. Is this all useful in business, uh, on a day to day in business? It definitely is, Claude, because you really have to, if if you react, if you let external events dictate how you feel. I don't know how you could ever really truly get ahead if you have to, if you're always reacting. Uh, we talked about that the last Monday about like who we you know, like what books that we needed to do. Very good. Yes. What I've been learning is that you have to uh, really just uh, focus on yourself. Um, if you let, like I say, someone cuts you off, and that really your blood pressure goes up. It affects your day. Okay. I'm mean, like just. It's just your, your whole, it's kind of like, it, it, if, if you just take the decision, you know what, that person, like you say, I give myself permission not to get angry. It's really, I believe we have to take control of our own emotions. We have to take control of our emotions. We have to take control of our lives. 
with what we can, with the tools we have in a crazy society where we hear this depressing, horrible news every day. You know, it just, um, you know, it's, it's like you almost don't want to turn on the news or watch. Uh, you know, I used to love to watch the news during dinner time, and now Claudia and I are finding it's just, um, depressing. Know, it's just depressing. It's horrible. It's like, oh, my God. And you get so emotionally involved, and in the, in the adult decision is maybe just ignore it for a while and then come back to it later when you're in a better uh, frame of, uh, when, when you're in a better frame of mind um, on this. Anyone else have a comment on this uh, topic? Go ahead. I do. Um, last week, I had a little nasty incident happen to me. I was at my local grocery store waiting for a car to move so I can pull in the parking spot. And a guy went around me and pulled right in after the car left. And I honked at him like, you know, that's like one of the rudest things I've experienced in a long time. And he started calling me every bad name you could think of really bad. And I'm and I was just I'm like, are you kidding? I'm like, you're the bad person here. You know, what is wrong with you? And he's like, No, you're the bad person. I'm like, what that doesn't make any sense. You stole my parking spot. Anyway, I I was talking to my sister. She had just called after that. And she said something like, Oh, so this guy ruined your whole day. And I thought, No, I'm not gonna give that guy more power. And I had to actively change my state and to to make it so I wouldn't let that guy ruin my whole day. I'm like, that was just one isolated event. He's in a you know nasty area in his life. I'm not gonna let him have that power. And I had to actively say that to myself and then it went away. I love what you just said. I will not let him have that power. I love that. That is the best takeaway from the day so far. I will not let this other miserable, um, person, yeah. this malcontent, this person who doesn't understand right and wrong. We deal with people who don't have good manners, who don't know right and wrong, who don't, don't understand um, just Thank you. modern, be, modern yeah. behavior, okay? Well, and I honestly think he was probably high on something, just his interactions and behaviors. We have to I don't take that in consideration today. Yeah. In yeah. Colorado, California, um, Seattle, Steve, Washington, um, people, I thought it was bad when people were driving badly and texting. Now they're doing something else while they're texting and driving. It hasn't improved their driving skills at all. Gentlemen. <laughs> okay, and you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, we had a we have enough trouble on a Friday night with people drinking their paychecks and driving. Yeah. <laughs> it gets scary out there. We have to protect ourselves. We have to put on we we can put on a suit of armor or, or Teflon. We can lock ourselves. We can turn off the TV. But eventually, we have to re, if we're going to make money in business, we have to deal with people all the time. This is the stuff nobody else talks about. They they always want the, they always try to make this business this re, most of us real estate so mechanical. Okay, these are the strategies. This is how John and Mary got rich. You know, and they give you the motivation. They give you a little information. They give you some very expensive marketing techniques, but they don't talk about you and how you feel and how you deal on a day-to-day -day basis. You guys know one of my favorite words is consistency. How do you make a lot of money? I built this, Claudia and I built this into a million dollar business, okay? It didn't happen through a trust fund or inheritance or anything. It happened through a lot of hard work, consistent work, and, and hanging around with some really good people who shared experiences. That's why I'm so big about these Monday group calls. I love this. Thank you, Rochelle. Uh, 